Jeff Cowan here. Thanks for watching and listening. Do you know what your closing ratio is? Is it 20%, 30%, 50% or higher? Do you know what it should be? What if I told you it should be at least 70% if you've been selling on your service drive for more than 60 days? Now I know if you go tell those numbers to your sales manager in new car sales that he will likely tell you I'm crazy. After all, an outstanding car salesperson will have about a 25 to 30 percent closing ratio and that is assuming they're on top of their game, on very top of their game. So how can I justify the 70 percent closing ratio statement? Easy. Consider that in car sales the customer visits your showroom dreaming that you will have the perfect car. If you do, then the dreaming quickly turns into hoping that you have the right payment. In short, the key to being successful in car sales is to understand that what you are selling is based almost entirely on emotion and little on practicality. If it wasn't, then everyone would be driving 20-year-old cars that just got them to wherever they needed to go. But instead, most people drive today want to drive the latest, greatest with all the toys. It's not enough to get there, but to get there in the most style possible. Now, on the other hand, People do not buy repairs and maintenance based on emotion. They buy based on need. They need to have the insurance that they have a vehicle that is safe, reliable, efficient, and generally runs well. They will wait until the last possible minute to buy these items, but when they need them, they buy them. Therefore, when they show up at your service department, it is rarely a question of if they will buy something, but rather, how much? They are willing and ready to buy, and they will buy. When a customer shows up to your service department with what they need and they don't buy, I firmly believe it is largely due to the how they were handled. After all, if it is determined that a customer does need a repair or maintenance to ensure their car is safe, reliable, and efficient, and they don't buy it from you, they didn't buy it from you, your fault. And to make matters worse, they are very likely to leave your shop and go to another one and buy it there. Again, since most of the customers visit prepared to spend money and are already closed, a 70% closing ratio is not only possible, it is the lowest that you should expect and accept from yourself. Great service advisors know these facts and also look at a 70% closing ratio as a start. I personally know advisors who consistently deliver closing ratios in the 80 to 95% range. No arm twisting, no sleight of hand, they simply know that the customers are visiting because they need something and they close them at least 70% of the time. Jeff Cowan here. Thanks for watching and listening. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's the way I see selling from my perspective.